do him that. We gave him the friggin' game. And in my opinion, that sucks. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Talk about playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. It's that uh, We Talking Playoffs podcast. I got my boy Kirsch. Got my boy Mike in the building. It's been a while uh, since we uh, got together and recorded. Um, we got the uh, we, – this is in the wake of the big trade with um, Cleveland trading uh, Kyrie Irving for uh, Isaiah Thomas. Jay Crowder, uh, what's the other kid's name? Zizik? DJ Scrack. <laughs> and uh, the Brooklyn uh, pick for 2018, man. What was your thoughts, Mike? We'll go let the Boston fan go. It was downright terrible. Just, if, I, if I could say it in uh, the words of Charles Barkley, it's horrible. Just it's terrible. Horrible. It's just horrible. Yeah, uh, why? Why, why? Yeah. Why? Why do you think? Why do you think he was terrible? Well, I I don't have a problem straight up player for player. If you go with it, um, he's done a lot for Boston. He's done a lot for the Celtics, uh, the community, the team itself, all of that. Um, and and I feel that you know he's always been a I'm a shoot happy player anyway, just like Kyrie is. So the numbers are going to be speaking for themselves. They're about to be the same regardless. My my issue, my problem is um, IT, you know, the tragedy that he was dealing with his sister and all that, his tooth getting knocked out, didn't stop him, nothing. He's going to fight regardless. Kyrie breaks the fingernail, and he don't want to play. <laughs> uh, that, that, I, that doesn't fit me or my style. We all know Boston, a grit, grind, we, we going to play defense kind of team, so – that, that doesn't fit with me because he plays absolutely no defense. Kyrie never plays defense. Um, as well as uh, that, I don't, I don't care about Zizic, whatever. I, I don't even know how you say his name. He never played a game in the NBA yet, so I can't say one way or another. I know he's a seven-footer. I know he could give them length. It might be beneficial for them. I feel Jay Crowder, uh, that was a loss to our team. That's really going to hurt, uh, not to mention we lost Olenek. So there's only four original players from the roster last year uh, that went to the Eastern Conference Finals um, back on our roster. It's going to be a little tough. But I'm I'm really disturbed by us giving away the pick. Uh, that is a lottery pick. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Could be a possible number one. Not, not to mention the fact that we gave away the number one this year. Uh it's just that, that that was way too much. Uh, Cleveland definitely got the better end of that deal. Uh, I, I understand why they young trying to get down to the younger guy, but I, I just feel that it was a horrible trade. Curse, what were your thoughts? Very heartbreaking. I feel like Boston didn't get better and Cleveland didn't get any worse. I, I'm not really sure why either one partook in the trade. Um, if anything, Boston got out of the predicament of um, potentially have to giving a, a IT a, a sentimental contract at the end of the year, and Cleveland was able to uh, get a nice shipment for Kyrie, knowing that you know in two years he was going to walk if they didn't. They did get something now. The the uh, value was going to dwindle in between time. Um, the the uh, what I want to say, uh, anti scribble or whatever his name is. I don't think he has any. <laughs> Mister Sleep a lot with all disease. I don't. He doesn't add much value. Um, the Brooklyn pick, okay, it's going to be a lottery pick, but who's coming out that's really going to make a difference in the next two to three years? And if you want to talk about Cleveland's record with lottery picks, I mean, 
They traded away Wiggins. They've now traded away Kyrie. They traded away Deion Waiters. And the one pick that they did keep was Anthony Bennett. What a joke. So. They got LeBron. <laughs> LeBron left. <laughs> and he's about to leave again, but that's. <laughs> That's uh, another story. At- now, now on, uh, in the immediate future, um, Jay Crowder adds depth in the front court for Cleveland, which is a good thing when your depth consists of Richard Jefferson and Kyle Korver. They definitely improved in that, in that, that, that part of their rotation for sure. How, how about this? I will go out on a limb right now in August before season starts, barring injury to – to a major player in the East, neither Cleveland or Boston comes out of the East. I'll take Here the field. Go. Here he go. He's about to say something. He's about to say something. Always do this shit. Yeah. All the ball do this shit. He's going to say, Miami. I Miami. swear to God, yo. I know that. I'll take the field. I'm, I'm not saying. Oh, okay. What you saying? Washington? I, that's that's low key. That's a, you, 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 you want to say Washington, but you don't want to say Washington? I'll take the Eastern Conference field over Boston and Cleveland. Okay. What? What? Washington ain't really getting no better in this offseason, huh? They just got. They just locked down auto. Which they they kept. Home. They kept all their players. Miami kept all their players. Miami, middle of the rung, dude. They're not even better than Bulls. The Bulls? No, nah, now nah, you tripping. Now nah, you tripping. Mike, Mike, you're, you're kind of talking out of your ass seeing how Miami was the second best team in the NBA in the second half. Yeah, they, they definitely, dog, dog. Could you have to think they about play, it? Oh, no. They played the bottom of the Eastern Conference the whole second half of the season. That's bullshit. They beat, they beat Golden State twice. Damn. Um, did Steph play? Did KD play? Did Clay play? Yes, the yes whole, he did. They beat, they beat the, 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 the whole team. But that don't really count though, because it's in Miami. Everybody be partying and shit in Miami. Right. You go down there to have fun. They got that Miami effect. But I, listen, check this out. I think Kershey might be on to something because, like, Chicago, they took a drastic step back. Uh, and they were, and they were what the six seed or what? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. No. On the surface, is what what I'm getting at is Boston was not very good rebounding, and they got worse this offseason defensively. Avery Bradley, Crowder, I got to talk about how I reacted because when when the trade went down, I was like, "Oh, this is cool." Then when they they basically what Boston did was. Uh, this is a good PR move for Boston because they took control and didn't have to deal with the, the backlash of the fans when they didn't sign IT. That's what this this whole move was to get rid of that situation. And what I what I what like they got Kyrie in return. Boom, y'all lost Avery Bradley. Y'all lost the Kelly Olynyk. Uh, was was uh J- Jared Sellinger? Was that last year or this year? Last we year. don't matter. <laughs> they, they, they lost Jay Crowder. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Let me let me finish. They lost Jay Crowder. These are all engine guys. They, these are all like scrub, not scrub, but like they get on the ground and they they, 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 they are the they are the they predict the toughness of the team. You know what I hey, mean? Hey, hey, they did get one of the Morrises. <laughs> oh, they got one of the Morris brothers. Oh, they gonna fight. We don't, they gonna fight. We, we, we don't know if it's a good one or not, but they got one of the Morrises. Um, He's going to make Kyrie pass it a couple times. <laughs> but they lost they lost the soul and the heartbeat of their team. Like, they, they still got Marcus Smart. He's a tough guy. But At Orford's a hustler. Yeah, but – and actually, I was kind of like – he kind of kind of mellow. But the thing about it is – who the fuck is going to guard the top tier guard from night to night on that team now? Marcus Smart has to. You, but in the fourth quarter, he is an offensive liability. 
So you can't really have him on the floor. He almost like Tony Allen. Yeah, that's why I was upset to see Avery Bradley leave. That's y'all. what I'm saying. Like y'all, y'all I was more upset. Did a little too much. Yeah, to see to see Avery Bradley leave. If we was gonna get rid of it, we might as well have kept Avery Bradley. That's my exactly. Thought. But, exactly. Uh, kept the uh, just a correction. Just a correction. The uh, the Bulls were the eight seed. Whatever the eight seed. Well, shit. Okay. Boston they're they're out of the playoffs. Who's who's taking their spot? Because Miami made the playoffs, correct? And no. No, they didn't. They made, was the year before. Orlando. They, they broke even. They were they were 11 and 30 the first half of the season, 30 and 11 the second and a half. Okay. okay. Once everybody got healthy. So, they, I, if, barring injury, they should make, they should anywhere from, i say, six to eight. Six to they're eight. Better, they're better than Atlanta now. They're better than Chicago. They're better than Indiana. Oh, yeah, for Indiana. sure. They're nothing, Indiana. Oh, my gosh. That, that is a are, sad situation. Of are they better than the Magic? Yes. 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 The Magic were like 12th last year. Right. But they've done nothing but get better. Who? What? How? Watch the Summer League. They lost like three games. Mike. They have the young talent. League. Trust me. Dog, Trust me. They got Mario Hizonia, which he hasn't shown up in the in the regular season yet. And, like, I'm so disappointed in him because I talked him up. Y'all know I talked him up. And, like, he's let me down. Peyton, what is Alfred Peyton? He's kind of been disappointing. They got rid of Oladipo. They, who, what, what they got into now with Terrence Ross? Like, no, dog. No. No. They got they got that good, the kid, the good kid, Vujovic, whatever his name is. Like, he's a double or 20 and 12 guy every night on a losing team. But, like, we all know the story of those type of guys. Like, Charlotte. Charlotte got, mm, yeah, I don't know. They got Malik Monk. They got Kimberly in the backcourt. They, they'll be exciting. But that's about a six, six, seed, six to eight. That's what I say. They got Dwight Howard. They will be in the they, playoff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're, taking, they're taking the bull spot for sure. I think six to no. eight for sure. Six to eight. They weren't in the playoffs last year. They're in the playoffs this they year. They just like, missed the playoffs, though, last year. But, uh, but they're going to take the bull spot for sure. At least. At least. Because the bull is moving up. Uh, oh, so, oh, yeah. Brendan, off, Brendan off the phone now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, hey, he's off the phone. His, his, phone's dead. his phone's dead. So, uh, oh, my here, God. Yeah, here, here. I'm, I'm going to hand the phone over to him. Here go, Brendan. All right, this, what, is, this is one of the what up? what up, Brendan? It was good, man. How's was thanks. Good, good, good. What's your, what, what was your take on the uh, the Cleveland uh, Boston trade? Yeah, I think uh, Boston actually. Uh, he he thinks over- the Bulls got better. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. I actually think uh, Boston got uh, the better end of the stick there because uh, Isaiah, or as y'all call him, IT. You know, he with uh, with his injury, don't really know what he's how he's going to be when he come back. Uh, his contract, and that's uh, was expiring this year, coming up. And he went to uh, the back up. Yes. Yeah, so. And so now they got uh, Kyrie, which we all know he's he, he's tough. I mean, he's he's kind of gritty. Mm-hmm. You know, he might a knickknack uh, injury, but he still get the job done. Um, and he got two more years on his contract, so they. They getting a solid, a solid two years out of him. Crowder, yeah, that's gonna uh, hurt him a little bit, but um, that's that's not. I think Boston, yes, they're not gonna be, they're not gonna be the number one seed, but they, they still gonna be in the top four, yeah. top three. Yeah, they still gonna make that top three. Uh, Cleveland, uh, I definitely agree. I don't, I don't know who would replace Cleveland. As you know, the one or two, but I honestly believe uh, they're, they're not coming out of the East either. Um, I think the East, crazy to say, I think it's kind of open because there's no. Agree with Kirsch. No, no. Kirsch said, Kirsch said it's going to. Boston or North Cleveland is going to be uh, the number one season. I, I, no, I said Boston or Cleveland will not win. Out, the East. Oh, they will not win the East. I agree with that. 
I, I, I honestly agree with that. But th- that's why I say the East is so open right now because we had a uh, – I say we because, you know, I'm a Bulls fan. Mm-hmm. So so we as in the Not East – <laughs> yeah, you know, we as in the East is, uh, is a lot of – a lot of space because we have a, a lot of young teams, uh, i.e., like Milwaukee Bucks. They they want to come up. They want to stay in the playoffs for the next couple years. So that's the thing you got to watch out for. Um, Did they make the playoffs last year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They played Toronto. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. We sleep on Toronto. Well, not sleep, but you know oh, Toronto. Toronto. Okay. Right? Uh, you know, uh, I think it is the year for the the Wizards. But I just, I just don't know how that's really going to pan out. So right now, if I was, if I if I had to call it right now, I would say uh, the Wizards come out the East right now. That's, okay, that's that's like the easy answer. You know what I mean? Because right. I mean, hey, that's hey, with, with the way it is, I mean, I definitely definitely don't think Boston. Well, I'm I'm 100 percent sure Boston. Is not going to come out the east. They are. They. They are. Their identity has changed. They're like a pretty team now. You know what I mean? Like they're not we're, like that. But, it really is. I mean, the one thing that we all know, we got to at least agree on, and I hate to admit it. Well, I don't really hate to admit it, but LeBron is still the best player in the league, and he gonna win games. He gonna he, win he, a lot of games. He gonna win. He gonna, he gonna give you a lot of games for sure. Yeah, they go. They gonna. They might. They gonna be playing in the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm gonna say that. And with with LeBron, uh, he is that type of player that, hey, you can put it on his shoulders for 90 percent of the season to include the playoffs. But uh, it's the, that 10 percent of some of the time is when uh, Kyrie. He ain't, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's when you need that that Kyrie. And he got so, it now. But it ain't gonna be that guy. He's not that guy. It, it is not. IT kind of they, wait. Well, if they run, if they run something similar to what Boston did with the high pick and roll, and let him let him do his thing for that, what what would Kyrie would go for like what 10, 11 minute stretches? Where Kyrie would just take over the game. See, yes, but Ky- IT, IT do that. Four seventeen in the fourth. And yeah, he, he can he can go. He can go. Bro. But well, remember, that's barring remember. injury, though. Barring injury, yeah. like last year before the injury, we don't know. And we know Boston has a history of dealing bad deals. But L.A., Boston, and Philly got a, I got a history of dealing bad deals. So I think they probably knew the hip injury on top of them having to sign him to that big ass deal coming up at the end of the next season. That's why they got rid of him, man. I really, yeah. I really believe that. I mean, from the outside. On, on paper, it probably looked like a pretty good deal for Cleveland, but uh, I, I don't think I don't think. I mean, I think, we just got got to keep in mind, man. They still got LeBron. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I see I see Cleveland making another deal. They're gonna make another deal here soon. I don't, oh, you I, know, I don't know if it's gonna be. We do okay, Curse. Can you see? Can you see them dealing? Because I was thinking about Denver. Because Denver has a lot of they can they. Can, there's a lot of trade space on Denver. With well, I don't know because Paul Millsap has a bigger deal now. Because I was going to say Kevin Love for Paul Millsap, but you would have to give up more because Paul Millsap is making more money than Kevin now. But Kevin is more of an offensive guy than, than Millsap, though. so that's. But, but we see Millsap. He can, he's a consistent three point shooter. Like he's not as good as Kevin, but he can he can stretch the floor. He could do a little more on offense, offensive end. You, I don't, I don't think like when, in the post wise. But then if you got your your four bringing that four out of the post to come guard him, you, that's that's just as good as just right. making them in. Um, uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I, and do they get a two guard? There's really no good two guards that are that are available. See, I don't know what did uh, Cleveland keep Darren Williams as of now. Uh, they got Darren Rose. No, I know, but is Darren Williams still still there? I, no. I think they let him no. go to get because they traded. They got. I mean, they they released Darren Williams and they paid Derrick Rose like the league minimum or something like that, right? Well, yeah. that's, that's why. That's why the Cavs are still good regardless. Because of IT and Derrick Rose, you're not missing anything. You still run that high pick and roll. 
between, and you're good to go. Yeah, between the two of them, between the two of them, they kind of make up for kind of barring injury. Yeah, I mean, they need some tackle. How that works out. Yeah, this is not. I, I know it, and I mean, don't forget. I mean, they still got Sharper. They still got uh, Jr. So I mean, they, they for the most part, minus the. I think Jr. is going to have a better year this year because he was distracted. He didn't know if his daughter was going to live or not the whole season. And when she pulled through, he started playing better. So I think he's going to have a better season next year. About to about to see. I mean, it's going to be an interesting East. Runs for the most part, I think. Even even though I, I, I just said, I think Cleveland is still going to be up there just because of, they got LeBron. Like like you say, barring injury, I don't know. This might be LeBron LeBron year to take a take a step back because of injury. But um, Damn, why you don't that on the That's how you feel. Hey, he ain't on the cover of two K. He good. I'm a, I'm a good. <laughs> he is right around that Kobe age though. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I don't want to see that. I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I don't want to see that. Um, let's see what, else, what else is going on. Y'all, y'all hear about uh, uh, the now all of a sudden that there's Boston teammates saying that they didn't like it. He was oh. a teammate. Uh, I haven't yeah. seen that yet. Yeah, uh, Chris Broussard. Well, it came from Chris Broussard, so. I don't believe shit he says. Yeah, exactly. But, and, like, I think that's fucked up, though. Because, I, I, like, he said he heard from multiple sources. So, that means that came from the locker room. Somebody in the locker room said that shit. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't see how somebody can say that unless, you no, know, that's that doesn't make, yeah. How, how can you say all of that, but when his sister died, they everybody was around him and shit, like, that's, I'm, the, I'm like, you know about no. the, that's not a good teammate. You can't. There's like even if they felt that way, dog. Like at this, how, 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 sway? Because this dude, right. this dude put it all on the line. He played through the tragic death of his sister. He was hurt. He did a lot for the city, man. Like and the team. How you gonna say he's not a good teammate, man? Right. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's something that I heard heard about. Chris Bussard said it on Undisputed uh, today. This, to, yeah, he said it today. But we don't know how uh, we know how he is, though. Um, did y'all hear about uh, Ryan Russillo? Who? The ESPN uh, analyst. Bro. Are you Russ- talking about guy? Dog. Yeah, Russillo and whatever. It, what's the curse? What's the name of the show? Russillo and what? The show. Yeah. Um, he got arrested. Uh, he walked into a random condo and just got naked in one of the spare bedrooms of the apartment, or of the, con- of the condo, and the people did not know who he was. He was a parent. <laughs> and, and, like, <laughs> he didn't know where he was. Hey, hey, that meth, it's one powerful thing. <laughs> In Wyoming, like, though. And, yeah, exactly. Like, what is going on? No, so, bro, yes. And that meth is one crazy drug. The police said they walked into the room, and he all he had was he had no shirt on, and his pants were down to his ankles, and he was just in the room. Like, yeah, he was like, strung up. No fuck. <laughs> hey, whatever he's on, you need to make sure that, that everybody else has access to. Hey, that's a failed drug test for the whole staff of the show. Everybody got to be tested now. <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, that's hey, that's worse than John Jones. Come on, man. Come on. Like, really, John? Really? Hey, I agree. Really, dog? Oh, yeah, yeah. Since, since we are talking playoffs, and you know, GOAT is about to fight this weekend. And uh, we all going to be together this weekend. Um, who y'all got for this fight? This is no question, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there, there's a fight? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Tim Crawford fought last week on ESPN. Hey, go good. Man, that's not a fight, dog. That's a spectacle. So. This is entertainment. Alvarez 
Triple G's in a couple of weeks. That's a fight. Oh, that is in a couple of weeks. That's what September fifth. Yeah, that's in a couple of weeks. Um, All right. Did y'all hear that uh, Cleveland was trying to trade Kyrie for Clay? Oh, I didn't hear that. Was in Clay? I wonder how Clay feel about that. That would have been a a whale of a deal, though. I think he gone. You think Clay gonna be gone? Yeah, I think Clay gone, dog. That's the second time they tried to do it for that. His name has been in the trade. Well, I mean, he does cost a lot of money. I did hear somebody on ESPN say that he's one of the greatest shooters of all time. Eh, that's iffy. But wow. I don't know. He don't need to dribble the ball. He doesn't need to. Like, he can catch and shoot. Like, he, yes. Yes, he is one of the best shooters of all time. Ever? Of all time, yes. That's a stretch, man. He, 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 he up there with, he, like, right. Dale and those – Pure shooters, like, yeah. I think Mitch Richmond had the same stroke. Mm, that's a good, that's good. But Mitch, Mitch can put the ball on the floor, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well. With Clay, the, the thing with that Clay's going to be limited in is that he can't, he, he can't dribble. Like, he's not a dribble. He, he can't handle the ball. I think he could. He just doesn't do it. He doesn't have to. True. And we, we, we've had this discussion. Right. Clay, Clay, he's, he's one of those guys that if the ball goes in once, twice, it can go in nine times. You know what I mean? Nine, ten times. So. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think he's gone. I think that 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 was the last straw. We'll we'll see how that plays out. Um, uh, hey. I- uh, oh, hey, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. Y'all see that uh, Clippers got a new GM? I think I heard something about that. Hold on, hold on. They got a new GM. I thought Doc Rivers was the GM. No, Every since Jerry West came, he's no longer the GM. He's just a coach now. Wow. So I think this is like a nobody. Does anybody watch Game of Thrones? Yes, I do. I think this is a little finger situation of they're going to get rid of Austin Rivers. And, but you know, and, 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 and Doc is not he 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 can make the the trade can happen and he can still live at home. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> if he was in the gym and he traded his son, he definitely sleeping on the couch for years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, like actually, but River's been doing this thing though the last years though. Yeah, yeah, he been, he's, he's uh you know solidified himself as an NBA player. I think he, he might get to start this year. I don't know. I just, Ooh, no. He's got somebody's got to play. Yep. So we'll see. Uh, All right. So see. my see. question: uh, Who who in the East do you have, the Knicks or the Bulls? Mm. I mean, what, to go eight or to go nine Next or ten? Yep. Uh, Knicks. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Shout out to New York. Um. Uh. Shoot. Uh, I think they. I think. I think the Bulls can get the nine seed. Wow. <laughs> as, as as Stephen A. Black. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, I'm, right. Y'all heard it first. Listen up, everybody. Okay. Bulls. Fifty. Brendan, Brendan, Bulls, Wow. Okay. Bulls, what I, t- I tell you earlier, fifty-one wins, right? So, what, what is that? Plus, wins in the East is like what third, fourth seed for real. We had fifty-one wins last year, so that plus or minus five. No, when you said you said yeah, 30. Did right? You say Twenty. Y'all, y'all go. That's, oh, yeah. You spot, so you spotted them thirty, so they'll win yeah. twenty games. Okay, I got you. All right. You spotted me 30. No, no. You said yesterday in the group text, you said you spotted right. Brendan 30 games. So if they win 21, 
So I'll give you 30. Okay, I spot you nine. How about that? That's what it's more. So you think you're going to win 30 games? Duh. He said you don't think you're going to win. Oh, my God. 30, 52. You think you can do it? Oh, the slander. The bull slander. No. <laughs> Ah oh, damn, Curse, what you what where where are you putting the heat at again? You still on? Four C. Four C. Okay. Bro, so uh, all right, just tell me who name two teams ahead of ahead of Miami. Two. He didn't my, say no, I just wanted to name two. It's In my ranking, it's a trap, Curse. Yeah. In your ranking. <laughs> Bertel, stop coaching. The Packers. <laughs> hey, that's Brennan's best shout at a winning team. Oh, my goodness. We're not talking about the Cubs right now. Oh, We're man. the number one in their conference. You mean in their division? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't say conference. This ain't football, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kirsch. Thank you. Uh, wow. He said. Um, oh, yeah. Rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. I'll let you go, Mike, since that's what you want to talk about. I I hate to say it. Like, I really, really no, hate. No. Yeah, go ahead. Bring it in. Go ahead. Yeah. Hate. I hate to I say it. What you going to say. Go ahead. What? No, before he said name, let just me, tell him. the party real quick. Go ahead. Why do you think this person is going to to do it? Because there's nothing. Oh, you know what? You know, I'm going to be a thousand honest with y'all. I can change it. It's cool. I, I, like, I'm going to go with my heart. Okay. And I'm wait, no, I'm, no. I'm going to. Don't say the name yet. Tell us why. <laughs> because this person didn't play last year at all. Oh, shit. They come, they come okay. in with a chip shoulder. And I, I, I feel that the talent around them is going to make them prosper and be a thousand times better than people thought that he was going to be coming out the draft. So you um, mad. Okay, go ahead. Look, <laughs> just because he was the number one pick, people still doubted him. Um, but I, I, that's my heart. But my head says that this, this other person, because there's no other talent around him, so he is going to have to be that person to do it all for his team, for them to be any type of good, and for them going forward, uh, the growth in their team. So those are those are my two candidates for rookie of the year. Okay, give us the names. Uh, ben Simmons and Lonzo Ball. Okay, you just disrespected the shit out the Lakers roster. <laughs> but I say, but, but my 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 answer. Well, I'm, I that Ben Simmons. I forgot about Ben. I ain't gonna lie. I forgot about him. And he's going to be uh, the facilitator on that team. So yes, I. It would, man, and they got they got MB though. Like, mm, they, there's a chance that they could have. There's a chance that they could win. They could probably win 30 games. What do you think? Look, I'm gonna be honest. Their ceiling is so high that they could. No, no, absolutely not. They're, they're no, fuck no. That is that is best case scenario. Their ceiling is four seed. That's like fantasy scenario. Oh, you're in the East, and there are a whole bunch of young kids, so they can play their heart out. They can play their heart for the regular season, no, but when it comes, bro, this is what happens. Young no. players, they are athletic. They, there's no reason they shouldn't be winning. But what happens? They're dumb as shit, and they can't close games. That's what happens. We're gonna see a lot of that where they're leading in the third quarter, going into last six minutes, they fuck up and just they they give games away. That's what we're going to see from this roster. I think Philly should sign a veteran rookie, Brendan Allen. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, he, he can close in the fourth. Is that what you're saying? No, he's a game I'm manager. Saying, he's a game manager. At, at this he, point in his career, he just makes keeps everybody in line, makes everybody make sure everybody's in the right spots. He's methodically explosive. And, oh. and and he's got breakaway speed. I hear that if if Philly signs the veteran Brendan Allen, 
the league is going to administer uh, NBA do rags, and he's going to be out there in his cape do rag. Isn't year. that what LeBron is? <laughs> with the headband? No, LeBron going. He, LeBron coming out with the full do rag cape for sure this year. <laughs> We're going to see the first uh, Philly backcourt of Brendan Allen and Wayne Lee. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But no, but also, all right, my well, 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 jokes is half and half do rag. <laughs> the half oh, and the two tone do rag? Oh, that's. <laughs> he got a blue and white one for away games, red and white one for home games. And they're going to have two-tone weapons. Ooh. Yo, that's super throwback, right? <laughs> all right. So, all, all jokes aside. With the knee-high socks. Best case scenario. Best case scenario, Philly could be the four seed, and that's better than Miami, better Mike, than you the – But I'm going to let you yep. – oh, you can have that. You can have that. First. Mike, Mike, Mike on that Ryan Rosillo. Yep, he on that. He on that Rosillo right now. Put the, the Rosillo down. Look, I didn't say what's gonna happen. I said best case scenario. That's that's a really that's that's a really like not so. Good if they are quick and they are trucking, then they can do that because they are athletic. It's gonna depend on how much defense they actually play. You know what? I you know what, Mike? It depends on how smart Ben Simmons is. Right. As a and they have player. JJ. They have JJ to already be like, hey. We need to do this. We need to do that. We need to do this. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I still. They have. A, I, I say. I say. They're gonna win thirty games this year. That's that's they, that's that's my feeling. The really. Bulls. Huh? They're gonna win more games than the Bulls. Shit. Okay. Curse. Who's your Who's your rookie of the year? The Seventy Sixers. <laughs> You're not gonna pick a 76 er You're just gonna say the 76 sixers Yeah, Brennan, because Brennan asked me who who's gonna have more wins than the Bulls. I said the 76ers. Oh, I thought you were talking about. I thought you were talking about who's gonna win the Rookie of the Year. You just said the 76ers. <laughs> I, I think they're all technically rookies, right? I mean, and beat played like 30 games. It was 21 or 31. I think it was 31 to be exact. I just yeah. said on that shit today. He, Dang. They say, he didn't even make the 37. Right, but the thing about it is, like, <laughs> they say in the, tw- in, the, in the 30 games that he played, he was averaging like 20, 12, and like five assists, three is three blocks. Like He's going to be one the I, – the, I hate to say this. I'm not going to put He's going to be the one of the biggest what-if stories. Cool. Rookie of the year is Dennis uh, Smith. Ooh. Ooh, good. Oh, hold on. Who? Who oh, who is gonna uh, MB, be the biggest? I think I think Embiid is gonna be one of those those uh, one of the biggest what if stories in the history of basketball. So you're 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 classifying him as Greg Oden. No, nah, great. He's he's better because we've seen more from him in these thirty games than we saw from Greg Oden. Okay. I got a sleep. I got a sleeper rookie pick if uh, he gets the amount of playing time that he may. Who was that? Bam. Always trying to slide. Some, okay. All right. Fucking heat players. Always, man. He got to curse me on his agendas, dog, don't he? Hey. It's all right, man. He can ride, he can ride with him. He yeah, rides with his team. To. You're supposed right. to ride with him. He's going to be an all-star this year. Who? who? Dion? Dion Waiters will be an all-star. Wow. Okay. Uh, he, Brendan. They, they, Brendan. He ain't have an all-star. It's white side. Nah, not not in today's game, dog. They don't even have a slot for the center center position in the All Star. Well, game. you're right, right? Because Howard been our last year, so Howard will be there. Hmm. Nah, you think he's going to be there every year? White side is head and shoulders <laughs> better than White Howard. Head and shoulders. But we're talking better about than... brand. Like Dwight has a bigger brand, though. Dwight Howard has the fan base. He will be the All Star. He's a fucking crybaby. That's what he is. Look, he, a bitch. he has the fan base. He's got like 10 baby mamas and 14 kids. Come on, man. Come on. So you say his kids is his fans? Hey, every, on, every parent, their kids are their fans. Come on. We all know that. Bridget, who's the rookie of the year? Uh, 
Oh. Tony Bobby. <laughs> oh, man. Some guy from Cincinnati. Antoine Evans. What was that guy? Who was that? The, uh, the ace pick guy. I can't think of his name right now. Um, Dennis Smith. Or was it Malik, uh, Malik Monk? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What school are you going to? <laughs> Who's that? You know, Brendan been overseas. He don't be paying attention to American basketball no more. That's why he's talking about the Bulls going 51 games. Come on. In the Euro league. He still, he still no, think, he still think good. Jordan in the league. Come we on. Have, we don't even have anything like a league pass over there. Damn. You, really? The NBA? They, they're supposed to be global, but. Uh, it's, right, it's, be, it's because we got use this uh, AFN. Stuff, man. It's uh, get that on post. Okay. Um. Uh, who's your rookie of the year? Okay, it was the eleventh pick. It's uh Malik Monk. Okay. For the Hornets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh. Okay, my guy. My guy. Oh. Because I was looking at our roster yesterday, we got we have a good one, two, three lineup right now. Like we just kind of kind of shaky. Well, we got Brooke Lopez at the five, but still, it's still kind of shaky with the, in the four and five positions. I think Lonzo Ball is going to get a lot of assists. I think it's possible for him to be at the new triple double guy. Not average triple double, but it's going to be like we'll look at his stat line and be like, oh, he got another one. You mean like, like Rajon Rondo was? Yeah, I think he's gonna be like that. I think he's gonna be like that. He's gonna be a 10, 10, 14, 17 assists and ten rebounds type of guy. Yep. Anything else, guys? I, I knew you was gonna go that way, but it's cool. That's right. That's that's what I believe. I think. And I, I, for some weird, weird reason, I just don't see, because everybody on Philly is, like, injury prone, and, like, there's still question marks on Ben. Like, anything can happen with him, knock on wood. We know it's, be, all- it's not going to play a full season. Markel, folks, he's got issues. he got ankle, well, it, well, he's got a bunch of issues. But the ankle issue is what got him shut down. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. They, the ceiling right. is high on them, though. What about what about uh, y'all, all y'all thoughts on uh, sleepers for teams that weren't in playoffs last year to make the playoffs this year? Charlotte. Just go for defensive player of the year. Oh, yeah, okay. What'd you say? Justice Winslow for defensive player of the year. Man, get the fuck off of the Heat players, dude. He ain't doing shit. Hey, that's your agenda. All right, we'll let you save that. That's, so, Joe, he, that's your vote. Uh, I think Kawhi gonna get the back. But Kawhi for MVP. Whoa. I like that pick. I like that. I like that pick a lot. Wow. Kawhi MVP. Um. Shit, man. Uh, yeah, I say Charlotte in the West. Which I think about Minnesota. That's that's who I think is going to be the sleeper. Minnesota's a nice state. Uh, uh, right, right. Because I don't, I don't think the Jazz, the Jazz aren't going to be back in the playoffs. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they, Portland, they take that spot. What about Denver? Portland? Portland right. probably back in the playoffs. What do, what do you think about Denver though? I like I like what they got going on. I like their roster. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no clue on Denver. When you get a chance, look at their roster. But I I I do 
uh, still think that the Pelicans, who got snuffed last year, can definitely do something. Yeah. They didn't make the playoffs. No, they was they was fighting for the eighth spot oh, with the or, or with the uh, OKC. I meant. No, OKC wasn't eight. What? Were they? I thought yes. they six. They, it was there was like teams fighting for that eighth spot. No, and who did? Who did? Rustin. Rustin, hold on, man. Rustin played. Uh, OKC okay, and those like six, bro. Yeah, they were six. I don't know. I know they. Had they played Houston. That's right. Okay. And what was Houston? They were. They, it was San Antonio, or it was Golden State, San Antonio, Houston. That's what it was. So they were seven. Um. That's it, man. What you think, Kurt? Uh, Kurt did, who's your guys? You you going with Miami to make the playoffs? But who else? Cincinnati Bearcats. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Brendan, Brendan, anybody other than Chicago is the new team to make the playoffs this year? Yeah, see the oh, Pelicans. Oh, hold on. Mil- Mil- oh, no, Milwaukee made it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah the, Pelicans, the Pelicans were the 10 seed. The Nuggets were the 9 seed. The Mavericks didn't make it. And uh, the Kings were the 12 seed. I don't know if the Grizzlies make it back with uh, with Zach gone. Dang it. I, I keep sleeping on the Pelicans, man. That's what I just said, the Pelicans. I don't think they're going to make it, though. They're going to make the playoffs. Hey, it's it's tough. Um, I think maybe y'all Lakers, your Lakers might make the playoffs. And they didn't make it like. If they're in the East, I'd say they make the playoffs. But, uh, Dallas. Dallas. Listen, remember. Uh, the Jazz are gone. The Jazz are gone. The Clippers probably gone. So that's two spots. The Grizzlies and, gone. Uh, no, I'm not going to say no to the Grizzlies. What you mean? Zach Randolph's gone. So? Yeah. It's, it's, All right. So, yeah. So definitely the Clippers and the Jazz are gone. So they leave it open for two other teams, which would probably be the Pelicans and the Lakers. Oh, they're not going to go from 26, 26 wins to the freaking playoffs. Hey, I say the Lakers are going to make the playoffs, man. Over in the West. Hey, I appreciate I appreciate the positive energy. I really do. Uh, <laughs> for real. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. What's what y'all got, man? What's I problem? think everybody in the West. I mean, everybody that's going to uh, make the East last year is going to make it this time, with exception of the Pacers and the Bulls. And so I think well, the, the Hawks. <laughs> the Hawks. <laughs> uh, let me see. This. He tried to just walk past that. <laughs> yeah, you know how Brendan is. I don't know about Miami. I still don't have it. I don't maybe I haven't paid attention to Miami, but I don't think Miami has any heat over there. Ooh, <laughs> hit you with the pun. Ooh. His do rag flapping in the wind. <laughs> Dallas will make the playoffs. That's what I was. That's what uh, I looked at their roster, man. Do uh, uh, mm. so you think the, this, this is going to be that much of a heartbeat for them? The Kings are stupid young. Uh, I don't know. And that's, that's just dysfunction. We're not, I'm, I, the Timberwolves and the Pelicans, I'm telling you. The, the Pelicans are the playoffs. You said they won't? No. I think they're gonna deal Boogie, and I think Boogie would be great to go to OKC right now. I would love to see him play in OKC with uh, Paul George. Yeah, Paul George and um, Russell. That would be a nice little squad, though. You know, people want the ball. No, because Boogie's Boogie's not a crybaby. Uh, well, I know who crybaby. Odell Beckham. Ain't about to cry about it. Wait, why you say? You've been going hard on Odell for a couple of days. Uh, what did he do Because Odell, he was mad about somebody coming at his ankle or at his feet. Low-key, the dude slipped on the hit, 
and he took his legs out, and Oakdale hurt himself, and he l- tried looking back at him like he was rough and tough, but he walked three feet and then hit the ground crying about his ankle again. Hmm. But he the best he said that it was a dirty play, and it wasn't dirty. Always are missing games. Antonio Brown don't miss no games. Julio Jones don't miss no games. Julio and Jones sat a whole year. No games. Jordy Nelson don't miss no games. Julio Jones is out a whole year, and so was Jordy Nelson. Come on, Julio Jones ain't missed no fucking whole year. He did. I don't think he did. I know he missed like three games. Did because I had him on the fantasy season. Julio Jones missed a whole year. What year was that? Yeah. What, yes. Please pull that up, Mike. Somebody pull that up. I don't. I don't think he missed a whole year. I thought we were going to talk about football. I thought we were going to talk about football and the best receiver. Fuck Roger Bell. Fuck yeah. 49ers. Really fuck Baltimore Ravens. Fuck Miami Dolphins. 2013. Fuck Green Bay for good measures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So he missed 2013. What was it? His ankle? Yeah. He missed, uh, let me see here, where is that? How many games did he miss? What is that? What the hell? I need to come up. Mm-hmm. Oh, why didn't he bring it up like that? He played in five games in 2013. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, so he missed, yeah, I think, okay, anyway. But, yeah. Yeah. The other season played in every game pretty much. I think I think next week we should talk about football. Yeah, we can do that after our, after I our talk uh, football. I'm not yeah. football. so Colin Kaepernick has a team. Well, I, I, I respect that. I respect that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How do y'all feel about? I, that? I think we can do a recap on the fantasy draft. Then. Yeah, we can do that. I'm, How do you I haven't watched football at all this whole season? How do y'all feel about the Browns and their uh, their protests? What, what, is, what are you talking about? What are they? They they all like huddled. Well, there was like eleven of them. They huddled up on the sideline in like a prayer circle during the national anthem. No, it was eleven that took a knee, but it was more than eleven that huddled together. No, it was eleven total. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was like I don't know, I think a couple a of fuck you to Hugh Jackson. A couple of the uh, a couple of the, the maybe the, they were praying that they were going to be good. <laughs> people on their knees was like holding their shoulder pads like. I'm here with you, but I'm not getting on a knee. Uh, I, that's, that the image is actually kind of funny. Um, anyway, but uh, I think that um, if it's if they, they're getting a good uh, ratio of participation from the team, I think for real, for real, the whole league should do that too. Kyle Kaepernick get back in the bunker, get a sign, get signed somewhere because obviously he's good enough to be signed. And he's being blackballed. I think he just needs to go back to baseball. Are you saying, like, if he doesn't get signed? Yeah. That, that is an option. Like, I think he's good enough to play football. If fucking Jay Cutler, who really didn't want to play football, gets signed by Miami Dolphins, he had yeah, to talk into it to, by his wife to even play to get to allow himself to be signed. Like, that says, that says a lot about the fucking... The owners, dog. Owners and bigotry. And the Jets still don't have a real quarterback. Christian Hackenberg throws to reporters. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a lot of teams that can use Colin Kaepernick. Like, come on, dog. The Broncos. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, the Broncos. What, who, who did 49 you? Yeah. The Texans, they, they, they don't have a solid situation at quarterback, right? The Browns, the Browns for sure. Uh, right now, uh, Seattle could have used him as a backup for sure because he fits their Jag- system. The Jaguars and Blake Bortles. Anybody's better than Blake right now. Um, the Bears. Yeah, the Bears. It's a, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of teams hey, that could use hey, him. Maybe the Bulls could sign him. Uh, he is six six. Damn it! All right, all right, that's enough. All maybe right. the Bulls. Alan Kaepernick. Hey, 
I'm done. I'm done after that one, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being on the call. Hey, shout out to Brenda for uh, being in, in in the United States, being able to be on the call. We've been we've been wanting to get your ass on for a long time. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, we gotta do this again. When are you gonna be in the states again? Is there a way we can call you? Uh, what's that? Oh, you can try. When I get back, uh, my internet should be back on, so we can do the. Brennan's Brennan, about to be in the States for a couple of weeks anyway. We got our fantasy draft uh, coming up. He'll be here for that too. So right. definitely, definitely be able to get him on the phone we again. Do, for... we, can do, we can do a recap of the fantasy draft and say who sucked. And who a, a, weekend, a weekend to recap, huh? I'm not opposed to talking college football. I fuck college football. Who gives, who gives a shit? I hate college I I despise Brentel even saying shit like that. I You're not a football fan. And maybe it isn't because Penn State is not that great, but still. What? Penn State just won, won the Big Ten last year. Dude, we're not, we're not, we're not great. Yeah, they're back. Nah. Right, so we're going to have a bad season next year. But, right now, they're fixed. They're fixed. Oh, they're fixed. Abby don't. You said what? Cincinnati's Abby's back, right? Yep, they they back more more back than uh, the hurricanes. Ooh, Ooh, he's swinging at your neck, son. He's he, at your neck. he came hard at that neck. Hey, but they do got a new coach this year, so give me a year. And I, I can't even can't even deny yeah, taking taking us away from Mark Rick. Mark Rick is a good ass coach. Mark Rick was their coach last year. I thought this was his first year. No. Oh, uh, well, Kirsten, what's going on? Hold on. Y'all tripping. Hey, what Michigan, like, Kirsten, Michigan, what, what's, the, what's their ceiling this year? Um, I'm thinking eight, eight to nine wins, and they win in the rivalry game. Miami is 18, and Cincinnati's not even fucking ranked. Hey, one question. Okay. Notre Dame is 28. Last time Miami and the Hurricanes played each other, who won? We're talking about this. All right. All right, since I want to talk about it. <laughs> I'll tell you, the Brad gets one, 34-23. He pulled that up on his phone. He's so funny. Oh, God, he did. No, live, we're telling watching him right now. He talk about flat football. Back when, he, back when he was the quarterback, setting records for uh, 40 times. It took 30 days, 20 hours. Hey, I just had to refer back to my notes. Uh, Brendan checking them receipts. Hey. <laughs> All right, man. He is. Y'all good? Everybody got, everybody else, everybody got everything they want to talk about? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. good. Hey, I'll see y'all. And everybody have safe travels. All right. You good? Brendan, you good? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Until next time, y'all, which will be – Way sooner than last time. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Uh, Glad reviews, five star reviews, all that stuff. Um, until next time, peace.